morning, everybody. I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon, he's a little yellow belly slider turtle. He probably won't be hanging out in this video today because we're actually here at Blue Van Dan's house or his ranch and we're going to change out our brakes. We haven't really had any issues with our brakes, but since we're here and we don't actually have a spare tire in this van, if you haven't seen our videos in the past, we've had tr tire issues. There's no spare tire. There's no spare tire little thing that holds it. And to put one up there is like $500. So the van doesn't have a spare tire. And that means it doesn't have a jack or a tire iron. So we haven't had any issues with our brakes or anything. Yeah, we got it checked out by a couple of mechanics just to get an okay, and it all was good, so we kept on going, and now we feel like it's time to get the brakes done, especially because we're probably going to be making our long haul into the sun on Ben shortly. So we're going to be doing a lot of traveling, and now is a good spot here at Dan's to do this so I can do it myself. He's actually letting me use some jack stands. Ross is letting me use a jack, and, and um, I have a c-clamp and some other things that i don't carry in the van they're letting me borrow because we're right here on his ranch so it's a team effort today so that was really nice thanks guys for letting me borrow that stuff and that pretty much made it so that i could do the brakes myself today instead of having to spend at least a hundred dollars a tire to get the brakes done so in the last video we headed down to AutoZone. And Walmart, not Walmart, but uh, Dollar Tree and got some laundry done. And today we got up and let's try to get these brakes on. So let me flip the camera around, show you all the stuff I got here and what we're going to do today. All right. So today we're going to get some stuff done. We're going to drive this van. Ooh, a little windy out. We're gonna drive the van down into some shade and get the brakes done today. Well, today's video, I wouldn't think that this is a DIY so I'm basically going to change out the front disc brakes here but don't do don't take this video for how you should change out your brakes I will be skipping some steps in the video so this is not a step-by-step -step DIY video so I I'm not going to show you everything but I just want to document our lives and the fact that we're changing out the brakes and when we got to do it and how we did it and that's just kind of what one of the things we do on this channel so I was actually able to get some Duralast Golds from AutoZone well the first challenge we had guys is the jack that Ross let us borrow is for his full size van and it won't actually make it up underneath here to jack it up so I grabbed a brick from over there underneath Dan's area over there and I drove up on the brick to allow me to have enough room to get this underneath here when I lower it down so that uh, we can get this under here and put some jack stands on and get the tire off safely. Always remember to put your emergency brake on and put some chocks behind the back tires you don't want this thing rolling off and smashing down without a tire on it. So let me get this jacked up and we'll get back at you. first guys so got 
got a couple jack stands underneath there in case this fails. Get this out of the way. And we'll get the tire off. Well, while it was still sitting on the brick, I loosened them up, the bolts, jack it up some more, get it off the ground. If you try to loosen those bolts while it's up in the air, you'll just hurt yourself. So, we're going to snap these up one more notch for safety. And we'll be able to pull the nuts the rest of the way out. And I'll yank the tire off here in a second. Yank the tire off. Alright guys, right down here, these are where your brake pads are if you don't know. Right in here, there's two little caps that you got to pop out. They're basically just to keep the dust out of everything. And so we don't want to lose those. Put those over there next to the tires. All right, guys, after you get those little dust caps off, you basically, it's a little nut in there, but it actually takes a star screw head. So kind of make it hard for people to be able to do this on their own then we're doing lefty loosey righty tighty but we're doing it backwards so this is tighten this is loosen so we're gonna be wanting to pull backward slide right in there give it a little pop makes it easier if you get the bolt all the way out like I said earlier, this is not really a DIY. This is just us doing our normal maintenance in our life. But on the van, I like to document it and show you guys. All right. Well, now it comes with a new one of these little brackets right here. So we're going to pop that one out so we can remove the brake calipers here. So I just kind of try to loosen it up a little bit and then it'll pop right out. See how I didn't put a lot of stress on that caliper but I still was able to pop it out because this is trash. We're going to put a new one of those on. So hopefully we'll be able to wiggle this off and this will come right off. Just be careful with everything here. You've got rubber bootings in here and wires, and so you got to be kind of careful. There's still a lot left on that brake pad. Well, the new brakes actually have a wire with a uh, little bit of a sensor in them so that when they get low, they send something to the dash that allows you to know that you need new brakes. So. This side here, it's actually connected right here. And this is the wire. So you just pop that little bit thing out. There we go. Now getting this off is a little harder, but you're not keeping it, so just kind of twist it. Same with this, you don't want to break this because you want to put the new one back in because you don't want it to get severed driving down the road, so. Very carefully remove the wire. Well, I think this is the reason, guys. Look at our brake pad. Looks like that, and it's supposed to look like that. So, that's why we need a new pads. So, I'm gonna put this one on first. Actually, I'm gonna spray all the mechanics down with some brake cleaner and clean this all up real good first, and then, We'll put these on. You can pretty much expect to use a whole can of brake cleaner for per axle.
looks like we caught this just in time so we don't have to replace our rotors, which is really good because that's just more money, guys. So, so we're going to put some of this brake lubricant on all the stuff, keep it from, uh, from making noise. Don't take a lot, but this stuff really does help out as far as making it any friction or anything. So, there we go. That's the last of that. Alright. And for this, we're going to have to run the wire through here. Is actually going to snap into this hole. And like I said before, this is all rubberized, so be careful you don't jab anything or tear anything because it'll definitely mess it up. So I slid that in, the wire's through there. Gonna clip the wire back in this little spot where the other one was. Slide this onto here to hold the adapter, and now that's all good to go. Flip it around here, and we're gonna have to use a C clamp now to push this back to get so that we can compensate for the new pad insert. So We'll pause here for a second and I'll do that. All right, well, took the C-clamp, pressed in the caliper some so we can get this on. Put both pads on the sides. And that way we can slip it right on there. Notice it kind of slips in those grooves. We'll put this back on. If you don't get this in right, brakes could just fall off right so uh, no there's a little technique to this try to start at the bottom and then you kind of get it like that and then just kind of push it over all gets latched in there I know that happened real quick, but you kind of put a little pressure here as you pull here and it all kind of snaps in there and you want to kind of give it a good little tug because you don't want this flopping out. And then on the back side, we'll put those two bolts back in, put the dust covers, and we're almost done guys. Ross mentioned that we got ribs in the oven cooking so we're gonna have some ribs for dinner guys we've been eating good here we all went to the store and each one of us bought two or three meals for all of us so uh we've been eating pretty good enjoying ourselves being here at dan's all right well after you get the two bolts in, put these little dust caps in. We'll do that. Take it, that's just to keep all the grime out so you can actually, you know, be able to get the bolt out. Then we're gonna plug this uh, little sensor back in. And make sure it's not rubbing on anything. Well, now that I got that plugged in, we can actually, I think we're done. We can actually put the tire back on and we'll be good to go, guys. So we'll pull the tire over here.
the hill and grab our spot. Well, since we got the brakes done, no problem. Ross has some ribs on, so we're going to head down here to the house and see about getting some dinner. So, here we go. Dan's place is looking good. We got the fence up. A little bit more every day. Taking a bath right here in the sleuth box on the waterfall. Wow, way it seems that I come up. Well, we made it down here to the porch and the ribs are ready. What do you got there, Steph? We got ribs and broccoli with cheese and mashed potatoes. It looks good. It does look good. Yummy, yummy. You can hear the water in the background. Right here on the pond. Mm -hmm. Dan's already had him a couple of ribs, so he's eating him some mashed potatoes and broccoli. Good deal. There's my plate. What are you doing, Chef? What are you doing, Steph? One of us we just swam right in there. You caught a goldfish. Look at you. Finding food for Sheldon. I think that one's too big. It's too big for Sheldon? And make a make a good uh gift for any kid right there. Wow. Alright guys. Well the sun is setting. <laughs> well, after dinner, we're just sitting right here on the porch, relaxing, enjoying this nice sunset. I wanna thank Ross and Dan for having some extra tools and stuff that I need and I know what I can what I can buy, so next time I'll be good to go. Yes, thank but you guys. we had some good dinner, and we're just gonna relax with the rest of the evening. I hope you enjoy your night. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us on Facebook and Instagram. More content on the Patreon. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. To get your Van Life Sheldon's travel stickers. Go to our PayPal. The link is in the description below. One can be yours for $5 or two for eight going to the same address. And please remember to include your address with your payment. As always, thanks for traveling with us.